Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are plotting along building the piers and quite happy with the results so far. Unfortunately, disaster strike. The PVC septic tank, which we thought was complete and ready to use, was flushed away on the torrential rain. Let's have a close look to what happened and see the end of the piers build up. So don't go away and enjoy everyone. But before starting watching the video, please comment, like, subscribe, share and don't forget to click the bell to get notified of any new release video. Thank you and God bless. Okay, what happened to the septic tank? Uh, I've seen so many YouTube videos about those PVC septic tank that I felt confident, but I didn't realize that this is more like a um, city septic tank, maybe, if I, say, if I may say so. Uh, you probably need this in a flat area with good strong soil, um, not flooding. Um, maybe also I've done a mistake, maybe I didn't feel enough water for what, for the way I feel around it. You, you need to feel water as much as you feel soil or sand around it, so that could have been a mistake on my part, I recognize that. But I think that being on a slope here, and the land, I'm going to show you what the land look, uh, look like underneath, and if I knew, I would have put that thing. Because at the end of the day, it's like, it's like a boat. <laughs> So let me show you what I mean. And because when it rains here, it rains very, very heavily. And it's all on a slope. So as you can see, the, the tank, the way it's been lifted, and you know, there was a small river being built there. So I'll show you what the soil looked like. Now, you see those holes? There's holes here and there. Unfortunately, we didn't really master the the drainage of the property you should have we should have done that at first and that's a mistake that we've done and I'm going to show you um, what we've done we dig a big trench all along the property and and to prevent all the water running down going to our property um, then after they're going to build a road right there so I know they're going to do something about it uh, there's going to be some kind of drainage so that's going to help us but I need to think seriously about under the house, under the shed, I mean, all those areas, whatever, try to get this, whatever water comes in to run away from the property. So I think that was a mistake, two mistakes, my mistake and the condition. So if you want to put a PVC uh, septic tank, you can do that in the city. Uh, everything's flat, no flood. And then you should be right. I mean, a lot of people, thousands, thousands of people using that. But I need to admit, here, it's no good. So guys, don't use it. Don't use it in the province, on a slope. Uh, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Or I may do differently. Maybe I build a concrete wall all around. But it, once I do that, I may as well do a concrete uh, septic tank. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're now starting building uh as you could see the concrete septic tank how much i lost what did i lost i lost time of course but uh, i worked it out it's only labor time uh, it's about roughly seven thousand pesos i lost so it's not a big deal as such uh you know it's a good lesson learned and um, i'm in the middle of a big learning curve here and and i'm enjoying every every minute uh mistake will be done i know so be it. 
we do what we can. We do the, we do our best. I'm doing my best. So yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy still. So I know you trollers gonna start throwing crap at me. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Um, I'm very happy, and that's the main thing. Uh, the two form work at the back were already done about four or five days ago. So those two will be dismantled soon, maybe tomorrow. And we can do the porch with the uh, timber. So we will reuse the timber and do the porch. Okay, last one on position, and we will concrete soon. So I'm pretty happy. That's probably the one who required the most effort and the, and the most money, I guess. And then the roof, something probably you need to be careful and made with patience and, and done properly too. It's very important foundation and roof here. Yeah? Yeah, so we pull this beast out and uh, put on the side. I'm not going to lose the money. I'm going to use as a water tank, some price. I will modify it and use a water tank. Yeah. I never imagined this amount of slop, but uh, it's positive because uh, we're going to have a one and a half story house <laughs> so it's pretty good I'm happy so we're right at the end where you see the concrete now if this is gonna be uh, the relax area away from the Sun and party area for night time so I will put some kind of roof there yeah that'll be pretty good It's ready, but it's still working. So we're collecting some water for tomorrow, for sure. Ready now, but we've done it. We finished concreting all the piers or the columns, whatever you call, depending on where you live. And I think that's probably all for today. I'm happy this is done. So 30 days, huh? Yeah. Now with all this rain, you can't walk around the property. It's so slippery everywhere. So after everything is finished, I will probably put some gravel here and there where we can walk safely and yeah all right okay so that's it for today and uh, don't go away well we'll be back shortly for tomorrow's day So it's, it's a bit quietish now, but <clears throat> it's been raining a lot lately and uh, the stop, the work
workers only will work half a day. So we're gonna have a little lunch together. Let's bring some drinks. <laughs> that way for us, Coca Cola for you, huh? Or maybe not. <laughs> uh, the two form work at the back were already done about four or five days ago. So those two will be dismantled soon, maybe tomorrow and we can do the porch with the uh, timber so we will reuse the timber and do the porch okay last one on position and we'll concrete soon so i'm pretty happy that's probably the one who require the most effort and the, and the most money, I guess. And then the roof, something probably you need to be careful and made in, with patience and, and done properly too. It's very important foundation and roof here. Yeah. Yeah, so we pull this beast out and uh, put on the side. I'm not going to lose the money, I'm going to use as a water tank. I never imagined this amount of slop, but uh, it's positive because uh, we're going to have a one and a half story house. <laughs> so it's pretty good. I'm happy. So we're right at the end where you see the concrete now. If this is going to be uh, the relax area away from the sun and party area for night time so I will put some kind of roof there yeah that'll be pretty good it's ready but it's still working so we collecting some water for tomorrow for sure <laughs> Okay, that, this could be the last day of the weekend. Um, all we're doing today is to do the two piers for the porch. So they start doing some concrete. We got the bars on position. More gravel. <laughs> slow they all come here really really fast it's terrible and this is a new residential area so I think the barangay captain needs to do something before somebody gets killed Another beautiful day to do concreting. Drizzling a little bit, snow hot, it's beautiful.
Okay, this is our favorite e tree, isn't it? It's a bit of a wind behind me, so. This is so hot today. Okay, another day. First thing I'm starting with is to wet all those uh, piers being completed. Um, so there's two just being, there's a formwork being removed this morning of those two here, the first two you see. So I'm still gonna wet those one, but anyway, I'm waiting all of them this morning. And then I repeat probably around lunchtime, uh, probably late in the afternoon before I go home. The fix of the one has been removed. Uh, we're going to do those two here. That's for the porch. Yep. And then that's it as far as Piers is concerned. Yeah, nice and wet. They're looking good. They're the two that we removed the foam work. Those two there, we try to keep them nice and wet. Okay, I can see the end of it almost. Just two more piers. My God, it's all about piers. It's a very important uh, fraction of the cost of the house, but we're getting there. And then in 25 days we can start building because the porch, I'm not going to do anything on top there until past the 30 days, but the rest uh, we can start building the house for sure. I just got one man today just to recover some of the foam work timber and uh, put them around those last two peas. And that's it. After that, it's gonna dig a little bit more for the new septic tank. Just wait another couple of days before we remove the rest of the foam work. And also, we wait at least get uh, some help tomorrow to do all the concrete work for the last two piers. Okay, today we're gonna concrete the last two piers up there, which is for the porch. And that's it. Uh, all those piers were wet this morning, but uh, we need to wet again. Looking good. And uh, those one will be dismantled tomorrow. So this week all the piers will be ready, but we need to wait four weeks before we install the timber on top of it.
Okay, we've done the last two uh, piers, all concreted. So everything's been concreted, guys, now, so this is pretty good. We are going to move soon to the next step, making the septic tank and preparing all the timber. That's it. Let's keep it damp before we go home. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. So I just let you know that I bought the three trees up there, the backhand, so we can finish the house easy. They will be even left taller, which is good. I want to be a proper carport at the beginning there. Uh, just a roof, a little bit on the side, concrete floor. So I just come in with the car and just park in the entrance. Here, this is going to be like a workshop for now and uh, that's it <laughs> that shed is not as been done very nicely so just a workshop I will probably put something on the floor there maybe some bit of a concreting or something so that will be the next step um, anyway until the next video I hope you enjoyed so take care and God bless you all <laughs>